Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to Hitman 3, but in, we'll be covering the missions within Hitman 2 now for Silent Assassin's suit only. I've done all the Legacy missions, I've done all the Hitman 3 missions, and now it's time to move on to the Hitman 2 missions. So starting off with Hawks Bay, I'm going to be using Hawks Bay and Miami in the same video, so if you want to go and watch the Miami one instead, skip to the timestamp on screen. But for Night Call in Hawks Bay, we're just going to need to bring along the pistol, and we're going to start in the office, and we're only going to need a coin. And we don't even use it. So this requires pretty much no equipment at all. So when we start, we're just going to interact with this painting right here to open the panic room. Take out the evidence. Nice grab the lockpick and Getting the dongle. The grab the Calma 1 tranquilizer and the frag grenades that are on the shelf. The office computer, no doubt. Once we've done that, we're going to close the panic room up again. And we are going to uh, go and get a lethal poison pill jar. Now you can bring some lethal poison pills along if you want to. Um, if you can get this one and the one you bring along with you and you can poison both the sugar and the honey if you want to if you want to do it that way the only problem I have with that is it takes too long to actually um, for it to work it takes four or five minutes or even longer than that which I don't like waiting around for a lot of things so I wanted to, to do something a little bit quicker and this is what I found to be a little bit slightly faster so I'm going to poison this air conditioning unit here the specific one that's going to be flowing into the panic room itself and uh, that's all set up for us. So the normal problem when you uh, trigger an, uh, like a lockdown is Orson goes in there as well and he dies too. So what we're going to do is delay him. So first of all, we're going to hack, uh, hack into this laptop right here. And then we're going to skip the cutscene right here. And we're going to wait to get into position. We're now actually going to trank out Orson. Once we've tranked him... And he's going down. Pull out your frag grenades. Just chuck them over there. You only need one, really, but I'm going to chuck both anyway. And that takes care of that. All we've got to do now is just literally escape the map. I wanted to come up with a technique where we uh, get our car keys, but she, you don't actually get it until she drops it on the table. And I don't really want to wait that long. So I decided to just do it this way. All you need to do now is just head to the exit, but make sure you avoid all the line of sight of all the guards. Alma will go into the panic room and she'll die. And because she's opened the door, it's going to ventilate the room. So anyone that finds her, even Orson, that just like just gets woken up, he will run straight in there and he won't die from it. So it will only kill the first person that enters the room. And usually it's Orson. So that's why we had to uh, trank him to take him out to make sure that Alma is in there first. So it's an alternative to something I haven't done before. I've never done this technique before in a video. And um, I think it's a lot, well, I wouldn't say easier, but it just it cuts down a lot of waiting time. Because if we poison both the sugar and the honey, we'd have to be waiting at the boat for like two minutes, which I just I don't like waiting in any guides. I hate like doing that. I find it's uh, not a clean run if I have to do that. But once we get to this point right here, we need to shoot that. Uh, what? That shot clearly hit, but it didn't register for some reason, but there we go. And once that explodes there, it's going to obviously panic the people at the boat. And we can run over to the boat, no problem. So yeah, really is quite that simple, really Hawks Bay is no problem, but I still much prefer a map like this than the Carpathian Mountains because it's at least it has, you know, variations of stuff what you can do with your target, it's still a sandbox at the end of the day even if it is a small one and it, that's more appealing to me than a, a linear map, but again that's my opinion, that's why I rank Hawks Bay still higher than Carpathian Mountains, but that's an easy silent assassin suit only for Hawks Bay, so uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to Miami. And for Miami, it's, that's very, very straightforward as well. There's nothing, not really much of variation between this and my original guide for Hitman 2. So we're going to start the Dolphin Fountain. Again, you don't need any equipment apart from your pistol because we need to take out a camera, but that is all. And we're going to need to use the pistol to obviously take out the target as well. So there's the only two reasons we need to bring along a, a weapon. So as we start the Dolphin Fountain, we're going to run over to uh, the, the gate that's on the opposite side of the area. It's going to be locked, so we need to grab the crowbar from the floor next to the van. Let's buy a pile of boxes. So we're just going to pull out our pistol, take out the camera, just, just in case it doesn't spot us. And just in case it does spot us, I should say. Go ahead and crack open this gate. And we need to uh, go and sabotage the laptop. That's just above by the satellite dish. Also, we're going to take out Sierra Knox with a pistol. Usually I would do this with a sniper rifle, but it's easier with a pistol, to be honest. Um, yeah. 
because the pistol shots are hit scan. But once we pass through this area, we can run straight through. Don't stop. Just come straight through. I mean, if you're too scared to go and run through there, just wait for the person outside the room to just move away. If you worry that worked, that worried. But we're actually just going to wait for Sierra Knox to come around. Use her instinct to find out where she is. It would be best if you use an SMG for this or the full auto pistol. But if you haven't got that, obviously use whatever pistol you have. It's actually quite, still quite tricky to hit your shots, but it is still hit scan. So as long as you hit one or two bullets, that will take care of that. Once you've done that, go and shoot the laptop right there. That's going to bring Robert Knox up to the room. Then we're going to drop the pistol around this area. Actually, actually, yeah, we're going to drop it a little bit further into the room. Drop it there. I don't think it really matters where you drop it, to be honest. But Robert Knox is going to come upstairs with his guard. Uh, Robert Knox is going to see that pistol. His guard's going to take it away. And that gives us a little bit of a window to take out Robert Knox and just boot him over the edge. It really is that straightforward. And there is a way you can actually make this a little bit faster as well. You could do like a, you can use the wall piercing sniper rifle, and you could just shoot him right in the head. But that's going to get patched anyway, so. But it would be cool. But yeah, he's just telling his guard now about the pistol that's on the floor. Now he's just going to come out of here. Equip your crowbar, knock him out, kick him off the ledge. And there we go. And this time we're going to come through here. We don't usually take this exit, but I'm going to take it anyway because it's a lot faster. Run through here, throw the crowbar at this guard's head, grab the crowbar again, crack open this gate, and take the helicopter exit. Really is uh, that straightforward. Miami is really. Just a really simple, really simple uh, Silent Assassin suit only, to be honest. One of the easiest in Hitman 2, I think. But I like that. It's a nice easy Silent Assassin suit only for both Hawks Bay and Miami. So hopefully that has helped you out there if you are struggling. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helps you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members. Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark David, Constantine and the Crazy Jesus for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. If you want your name read out as well, all you got to do is become a Psycho Assassin member. And I'll read, be sure to read your name out in the updated uh, credits next month. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.